Hello, everyone. This is Miss Cheryl at Sacred Heart Montessori. And today I have a new Bible story for the first week of Advent. And for this first week of Advent, our theme is hope. What does hope mean to you? For me, I think about when we have hope we believe that things, good things can happen, even if it doesn't seem sure that it will happen, or we're not sure how it will happen or when it will happen, but we can have hope. We can believe that good things can still happen. And one of the things that gives us hope is that we know that God's love is always with us. And another thing that gives me hope is that God often is full of surprises. Did you know that? God often does things in ways that are very different from what we expect. When we think that God would use people who seem like they are really important or really famous to do important jobs, God usually chooses the very ordinary people who no one would expect to do very important jobs. And so I have hope because I know that God is full of surprises and will do things in ways that we can't expect. And that God is also working in ordinary people like us. And that God can make things happen that seem impossible to us in very surprising ways. And that's what's going to happen in our story today. So today's story is about a man named Zechariah. And his wife, Elizabeth. Zechariah and Elizabeth loved God and followed God's ways. And Zechariah was a priest, which means he worked in the temple, which is kind of like a pastor who works in the church. And they were sad about one thing. They didn't have any children and they really wanted children. And I think some people in their town probably made fun of them or said things that were mean about them because they didn't have any kids and they really wanted kids. So that was one thing that they were really sad about. And they were too old to have kids now. But they loved God and kept following God's ways and showing God's love to other people. Well, one day it was Zechariah's turn to go to the temple and go into the special room in the center of the temple and offer incense and prayers. This was a very special job. Only one person did it one time a year. So it was really special that it was his turn. So he went into the temple to offer the incense and the sweet smell was filling the room and all the people were waiting outside. While he was in the temple, an angel of God appeared. And Zechariah was really scared. He'd never seen an angel before, and he didn't know if it was good news or bad news. But the angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. I have good news for you. God has decided to give you a son who will have a very important job to teach people God's ways of peace. Well, I think Zechariah believed that. He knew that he and Elizabeth were too old. So he said, that's crazy. We can't, we're too old. We're too old to have a baby. That would be great, but it's not gonna work out. Well, the angel said, Zechariah, don't you know that God can do even things that seem impossible to people? And so this is going to happen just like God promised. And since you didn't believe that God could do this impossible thing, Zechariah, you're not going to be able to talk until the baby is born. And then the angel left. And Zechariah He couldn't talk. So he came out of the temple and people were wondering, what is taking him so long? He's been in there so long. I wonder what's going on. I hope he's okay. Well, he came out and I said, Zechariah, 
What happened? He couldn't speak. So he tried to tell them with maybe he drew in the ground, maybe he mo did motions. So they knew something really big had happened, but he couldn't talk to tell them. But he and Elizabeth went home. And soon there was a baby growing inside of her, just like the angel had promised. So what do you think about that story? Do you see anything about hope in that story? That God can do things that seem impossible to people? All right, well, you can think more about it, and we're going to hear more about Zechariah and Elizabeth in our stories next week.